mabuhay. And usually during unboxings, the car's already in frame behind me or next to me. But today we're going to be doing something a little bit different because we're not just going to be taking a look at the car, but it's home as well, which is here. This is the brand spanking new Mercedes-Benz dealership here in the heart of BGC. And behind me, as you can see, is the Purple Ants Cafe, which in fact, they're offering that anyone, you need not be a customer to come here and enjoy a beverage or two while taking a look at some pretty good looking cars. But of course, this being autoindustria.com, we have to talk about the car and not just any car. This car is one of their halo cars, a car that they've been making for decades, something very and truly special. So without further ado, let's see what it's all about. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2020 Mercedes-Benz S320. And yes, that S stands for S-Class. As you can see, it's got that iconic hood star that not all Benzes have nowadays, but it's reserved for the higher models like this sedan, for example. You also get that patented grille as well as LED headlights. But there's another interesting feature about these LED headlights. As you can see, you have three strips that run through here. That's reserved for the S-Class. If you go down to the E-Class, that's just two. And if you go down to the C-Class, that's just one LED strip. It's a cool little thing that makes your car a little bit different from the others. The car sits on 18-inch alloy wheels. And this car is actually equipped with air suspension. With a button you can press inside the car that will raise or lower the right, depending, of course, if you want to be more comfortable or not. Now, let's go check out the back and see what's there. Now that we're here at the back, I'd like to point out that that unique design feature of having three LED strips for the S-Class in the front carries on over here at the back. You've also got three strips here at the taillights. But there's something a little bit more different about the taillights. It's actually got texture in it. It's a frosted glass kind of look that when the lights are on, it looks like you're looking at a starry night sky, which of course is it's very special for a car like this. You've also got a automatic boot lid which is remote activated but of course this is an s-class and as we all know the s-class is a car that's used to ferry along very very important people in the ultimate luxury and comfort so now it's time to take a look at the business end of the s-class its main selling point the inside Let's start with the front of the interior and as you can see, it's very luxuriously appointed. You've got leather everywhere as well as wooden and chrome accented panels. But this being the S-Class, that's not the only toy you get here. You also have in front of me two 12.3 inch screens. One is the infotainment system that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And the other screen is the digital cluster that has the car settings and of course the speed and the rev counter. And in here, you've got wireless charging, two USB ports, and here you've got two more cup holders. And here in the center console, you've actually got more buttons to control the infotainment system, as well as this nice touchpad. If you don't want to push buttons, you can control it with this. And you've also got, last but not the least, if I may add, this nice LED colored uh, lights here inside the interior, which is actually customizable up to 64 different colors. And that's pretty much it for the front. Now let's go check the second row. 
Now that we're here at the second row of the S-Class, I'd like to point out that this is probably the most important place in the whole vehicle because this is a car that's meant to be ridden in, not necessarily driven. And that comes with its own set of benefits. Like for example, here behind my head, you have a soft pillow you can rest your head on. Over here at the side, you have your controls for the seats, which recline, move forward, and all of that, just to make you that little bit more comfortable. You've got your air conditioning controls down here with two vents and another vent here. You also have your own vanity mirror that has its own LED light. You have cup holders here, and you have extra cubby holes inside the center armrest. There are two last features about the interior that I'd like to talk about just to round out the whole segment. Actually, inside the glove compartment, there's a slot there where you can insert a fragrance and an ionizer. And the last feature I'd like to talk about is this car comes equipped with what's called soft closing doors. So you don't have to close the door all the way when you're coming in. You just have to close it until it hinges and then it will soft close for you. So if you're annoyed by the sound of door slamming, then that's a very welcome feature for you. The interior is a very nice place to be in as you'd expect from an S-Class. They've been doing it for decades and it's something that they continue to improve on and get better at with each generation, especially here with the S320. The only thing that I'd wish I had here was maybe a button to launch a nuclear missile, but I think that's asking for too much. Speaking of nuclear missiles, now let's talk about the power plant under the hood. Underneath the hood, you've got a 3-liter V6 that's turbocharged, by the way, that puts out 272 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque at about 1,400 RPM all the way up to 4,500 RPM. This engine is matted to a 9-speed transmission. Now, those numbers may not be big, but I'm sure that's more than enough to propel you and your passengers comfortably on the road. On to the important question, how much does this cost? This car costs 9,890,000 Philippine pesos. Yes, that is a lot of money, but consider what you're paying for. This is the S-Class. This has been the pinnacle of luxury for Mercedes-Benz for decades, and this is a car that they perfected over that amount of time. So if you're in the market for something like this, I'm sure this is worth a look. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This has been Pablo Salapantan of Auto Industria. Paalam!